option number one. Good. And then uh, I'm going back to the um, lead here and uh, just to edit it. It doesn't matter if you create a new one or, or update a one. I say, okay, I will just put some um, um, some some note here. Say um, demo demo number two, demo number two. Um, yes, see, and then the partner number, and then Peter. Um, the uh, um, the main contact person will be Peter, and then I would like to put the uh, qualification level as um, as uh, warm. And then um, this demo, um, I would like to put some note here. This, this, uh, this is demo between uh, for CRM and B1. Okay, and then I would like to put the um, uh, priority um, as high, and then the um, the incoming uh, the origin uh, could be maybe uh, is coming from the. Um, uh, coming from the trade fair as well. So just to remember uh, this information, I'm going to put it um, the description, um, Mr. Card code, and the qualification level as warm and the priority as high, and then origin as fair. And then I expect to have um, uh, Mr. Uh, Perry, just, um, Perry Junction as my sales employee, and then uh, Peter uh, Finger will be uh, cons uh, will be synchronized as my contact um, person there. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I just um, save it, and then actually in the background, um, in the background, an um, SAP CRM is sending them the iDoc for me. Let me refresh. Let me refresh here. This the iDoc history. Let's have a look at the iDoc history. Okay, looks good. Um, now, if the iDoc history for my B1i has been sent, and it's the right time for me. Um, okay, looks looks very good. I uh, let me sure make sure the iDoc there's nothing wrong um, with the um, I would like to make sure the not error uh, in my IFC there. Okay, not only in my IFC, my iDoc there. So I suppose um, now the iDoc has been sent to my uh, B1i. I, I suppose um, I already got the message here. So I just go to my B1i admin and the monitoring, and then to have a look at the uh, monitor log. I expect to get. Uh, I think maybe I long too many uh, times um, over there. Uh, I got too many messages there at the moment. Uh, but uh, but never mind. Uh, let me wait, wait for a few seconds uh, because of um, um, this uh, demo system. So everyone can send the iDoc. I I'm I'm listening to the word of the um, iDoc from my CIM. Um, but never mind. But it doesn't matter. Let me check um, if I I get my one zero zero one already or not. Oh yeah, good. Um, you already success. Um, you already success. As you can, as you see, as a result, I get the BP um, one zero one as a lead. And remember the description. I copied um, the description from the lead um, demo two um, into my account name, and I I put the um, I put the I put the remarks um, the demo for CRM business one. Just what I changed, and then remember I put the. I put the um, qualification level as warm. I synchronize now, and the priority as high. Tweet pair exactly. I copied. I synchronized from the um, my lead uh, in CRM, and then also the uh, the sales employee, Mr. Uh, Perry Junction. I already get um, this as well. The synchronize as well, and then let's have a look at the contact a person, uh, Mr. Doctor um, Doctor Peter uh, Doctor Peter uh, Finger. I got it. And I, even I got the address as well. Um, I think it's the I got the address um, as well from uh, from Doctor um, Finger as well. Um, um, okay, that's the first scenario uh, for the for synchronization the um, the uh, the lead SAP lead um, into uh, business one. For the second scenario, um, I'm going to um, synchronize the um, sales opportunity um, 
um, when I create a sales community in the my headquarters SAP CRM, and then automatically the, the SAP CRM will send the iDoc um, simulate to the V1 ISM, and then I have a scenario to listen to this iDoc a message, and then to uh, create the sales opportunity. To create a sales opportunity in my business one um, uh, accordingly here. Um, so um, let's have a look at the um, um, live demo system there. Okay, um, to create a uh, sales opportunity, I just need to go to the um, create opportunities here. And then I'm going to create a um, Opportunity. I'm choosing the opportunity um, 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 type here. And just re remember, uh, my yes, see, um, is um, uh, to create the opportunity. I uh, what I'm going to um, uh, to synchronize. I would like to synchronize the opportunity description um, into my. Business one and sales opportunity um, as the opportunity name here as opportunity name here, and then I will uh, synchronize. I will, I'm going to create the uh, um, the opportunity for the one zero one um, the lead. You can see I just create um, in the last scenario, and I would like to synchronize the information um, like the like the sales volume. Um, this information would be. Um, synchronize into my um, potential um, amount and width amount here, and then also the um, the starting date, um, the date, the date information as well. Um, um, also, similarly, I create a U-defined field. Um, that's a reference number um, to checking the um, the original um, um, sales opportunity number from SAP CRM. Uh, because for for the SAP opportunity here, maybe my number is 41, but in SAP CRM uh, it could be another a number. Just I would like to know um, to check in the information, um, the information in, in CRM um, here, and then I would like to have uh, um, the sales stage information um, into uh, my stage in the business one here as well, and then the uh, the sales employee, and then the lead, and then the and the percentage. And then I would like to uh, to uh, put this percentage here, and then I would I like to have the percentage the read here as well. Similarly, exactly the same. Okay, and that's the uh, basic information I'm going to synchronize uh, from the SAP opportunity into business one sales opportunity. And now I would like to uh, 